guys and welcome to today's video. I wanted to try something a little bit different today. I don't know if things will be popular. I feel like they may not be, but I really just wanted to give them a go. I've spoken about before that although I do love fashion and beauty, I kind of want to talk about a little bit more than fashion and beauty. So this is me trying to talk about a little bit more than fashion and beauty. The title of these videos, which is currently Thoughts and Obsessions, is definitely still a working title simply because I can't pronounce my THs. Well, I don't typically pronounce my THs unless I unless I think about it and it really bothers everyone on YouTube so I feel like now I'm like second guessing myself I'm like is it feel or is it feel I feel like it's going to bother you guys if I accidentally forget and call it thoughts and obsessions which I'm definitely going to end up calling it thoughts and obsessions instead of thoughts and obsessions but not gonna lie Sabrina thinks with an F is definitely a contender for the title of this video I don't know why me pronouncing my TH is wrong bothers so many people, but it bloody bothers so many people. These videos are going to be a little bit random. I'm not going to talk too much about beauty and fashion in them. So I'm going to talk about anything that's in the news that's caught my eye, any books I've been reading, any series I've been watching or anything else. But I am really open to ideas. So if you guys have any topics you want me to cover in next week's video, if you see any links that you think I might be interested in, then please tweet them over to me or send them over in a comment or email them to me or send me an Instagram direct message. All that good stuff is linked down below. And I, I kind of want this to be somewhere where I get to interact with you guys a little bit more as well. If you have any like more in-depth questions, then leave them down below. I don't mean stuff like how tall are you? I'm five foot seven, by the way. Not like typical Q and A questions. If you guys would like a Q and A, I can do that, but in a separate video, not in the Saturday videos. I don't think. If you have any Q and A questions, do leave them down below. Maybe write like Q and A questions, and then those questions. But really I'm looking more for questions that are more in-depth and kind of need me to think a bit more, maybe do a bit of research, um, maybe share my opinion on something. And the main reason why I'm kind of doing these videos is because I love watching news videos on YouTube. I don't really watch many beauty videos anymore. My current favourite YouTuber I'd probably say is Philip DeFranco. So you might be able to tell like, some bits of this are probably a little bit inspired by him. Although I'm going to cover occasionally some topics that might come up in the news, I'm not going to really cover topics or current affairs because some of you may not be interested and some of you may be interested but I'm also not as knowledgeable as I would like to be on those topics. I think I'm just like not willing to put myself out there that much. Like I'm, I think I am quite interested in politics. I just think it's such a controversial subject that I don't know if I want to go into that. Other stuff like this week what's been in the news, I don't know, Cambridge Analytica, really interesting but I don't know if everyone else is going to find it interesting and there's just other people out there doing the news so much better than I ever could so I'm not really doing that as such. Instead I'm going to pick stuff that I think most of my readers would find interesting and I kind of a bit more light-hearted as well. So my first topic today is Dolly Alderton's Everything I Know About Love. So it does say everything I know about parties, dates, friends, jobs, life, and then she crosses it out to just have love. But all those topics are covered inside this book. Quick disclaimer, I feel like I'm, I'm very keen with disclaimers. I haven't read a book in an embarrassingly, embarrassingly, embarrassingly long time. But I finished all of this book with a tiny bit of help of Audible, but if you don't read very much and you would like to, um, I think Audible is a really nice way to help you get into reading. I probably read about a quarter of this book using Audible just because it made it a little bit easier for me and I'm okay with that. I know some people are like really anti, anti audiobooks but I really like them and it, it helped me finish my first book in ages so I'm very happy about that. So I have told just about everyone I know that I love this book. It's been all over my Instagram. I love this book. If you are in your 20s especially, I think you must read this book. Dolly is probably, my guess is about 29. So she's about four or five years older than me. But it's just still so relatable. The first few chapters cover MSN, which do we all remember MSN? But looking back, I just find MSN era so funny. Like logging in, logging out, nudging people. Those were the days. But if you grew up if you were like in your teens with MSN you'll I think you'll relate to this book and she talks about her experience at university she talks about friendships um especially friendships growing up and I think friendships as a whole is a very hot topic at the moment but she does it really really well because it is a memoir so she tells us her experiences but still I found myself looking at her experiences looking at my own experiences reflecting on my experiences 
and I just thought it was beautiful. Like it really had me reflecting on so much stuff. And although it's not a self-help book, I feel like I learned so, so much from it. Dolly Alderton is also a North Londoner and I am a North Londoner. She, in part of this book, lived not very far from where I live now and actually very close to one of my, to where one of my good friends lives. So I feel like that made it extra re uh, relatable to me. She even has a friend called Sabrina, which in the UK, I don't think Sabrina's a very common name. I've probably met two other Sabrinas in my lifetime. I really can't recommend it enough. And if you haven't read a book in ages and, you really, and you're looking to read a book, but you're not sure what will be interesting enough, but also easy enough to read, I would say this is it. It's not stupidly easy to read. It's not like the font is a, a reasonable size. There aren't chunks of blank pages and it's, it's not thick, but it's not overly thin either. I really think this is a really good book. I have also never understood when people said, oh, I cried at a book. I'm like, how did you cry at a book? How were you? I've never been that emotionally attached to a book until this one. I was on the tube crying. I was on the tube laughing. Oh, it was so, so good. Can you tell I love this book? I would highly recommend it. It's just so, so good for anyone in like the 20s or 30s. I would highly recommend it. Even slightly younger. Like I was considering lending it to my 18 year old cousin who, Danielle, if you're watching this, I know you don't typically read, but I thought maybe you'd enjoy reading it. And I think she would enjoy it. It's just so good. The book I'm moving on to next is Eleanor Oliphant. Is that how I pronounce that? Oliphant is completely fine. Apparently she's not completely fine. This, however, is a much thicker book. The font is much smaller. And it is fiction, I haven't read fiction. I haven't read fiction probably in like 12 years, but it's still like relatable fiction, so I still think I would, I would enjoy it. Um, I'm just kind of starting, to, I'm trying to pluck up the courage because it is a little bit thicker. Um, that said, chapters are quite small, which really attracts me. And apparently it's an amazing book, so I'm very excited. I'll probably report back. My guess is gonna be in two weeks to let you know what I thought of this book. Although I said I'm not really talking about beauty too much in these videos, if any good charitable cause catches my eye, I think this is a good place to tell you guys all about it. And a, a great charitable cause has caught my eye by The Body Shop. The Body Shop has always been a great activist brand, which I really love. They've collaborated with Ham, H-A-M, to produce a limited edition face mask with the Ham print on the outside. You've probably seen Ham, H-A-M, I don't know how I'm supposed to pronounce it, prints before this is one of theirs with the body shop which i'm very excited to have i'm gonna leave it there for now but you can also see the prints on the outside of this box this collab is to mark the petition to end all animal testing because animal testing does still happen in the world so the body shop are calling to end all animal testing they've got a petition which i believe has passed five million signatures which is the biggest petition ever against animal testing which they're sending to the un to hopefully stop animal testing worldwide, which would obviously be amazing. I'm gonna leave that link down below so you guys can sign it. It's really easy, it's really quick, and why would you not want to stop animal testing, and why would you not want to contribute to the cause? Because it's so quick and easy to do. So I'm gonna leave that link down below, and hopefully lots of you will get involved. Next, I really wanna talk about podcasts on this, but I feel like I haven't found podcasts that I really love. I do really love At Home with Lily and Anna. I do really love Sophie Mill on this podcast, Keeping It Candid. But I'm trying to find a few more, so if you guys have any recommendations, then leave those down below. Podcasts are something that I think I could really get into, so I'm not really telling you about any podcasts today, but I'm hoping you guys will leave me some recommendations down below. Just something to note is that the clocks go forward tomorrow, um, which means we lose an hour of sleep, which is so annoying. But Luckily, next week is a four day week, so I'm hoping that I'll catch up with some sleep then. And I haven't changed my car clock to the current time, so my car clock will be right again. And the week after next is also four day week, so also really excited about the next four day week too. Now onto my five hot links, which I really liked and I think you guys should read. I only have four this week. Work in progress, hopefully next week I will have five. My first one is from Hannah Gale, and it's her thoughts on the demise of blogging really enjoyed the blog post, largely really agree with it. So I'm gonna leave that link down below so you guys can check it out as well. Generally, all of us have been losing views on blog on our blogs. I don't blog anywhere near as much as I used to. Once upon a time I used to blog every single, single day. I 
definitely don't do that so Hannah Girl just goes a little bit more in depth into thoughts as to whether we should be blogging or shouldn't be blogging so I'm gonna leave it linked down below and I, I'm sure some of you would enjoy that also Rush until this isn't really like anything groundbreaking but she talks through how she plans her Instagram and I just found it was an interesting post been quite unmotivated this week and it just kind of gave me a little bit of a kick up the ass. so if any of you guys need a bit of an Instagram kick up the ass, that is linked down below and then on to two separate articles from the pool I really like the pool. I don't really use it that much. I really wish they had an app because I don't really read stuff that much on Safari. I don't know. I really wish they had an app, but I don't believe they do. But there is two different articles which really caught my eye. Number one, Jacqueline Wilson is bringing back Tracy Beaker. If any of you were big Jacqueline Wilson fans when you were growing up, which I really, really, really was, like I had read every single Jacqueline Wilson book that had come up, that had come out until I was like 13. I still have all the books. I hope to one day pass them down to my daughter and I really hope that she will love them as much as I love Jacqueline Wilson books. But Jacqueline Wilson's bringing back Tracy Beaker as an adult book. Apparently she's a single mum and I'm excited. I really hope it's as good as I as I'm envision, envisioning. Um, but I will leave that link down below. And then from Sally Hughes, I'm a really big Sally Hughes fan. I just really love her writing. She wrote an article for the pool, which I think she writes weekly for the pool. And this article is about uh, what's his name? About Ant McPartlin. Is that his name? Basically, Ant and Deck. Ant from Ant and Deck. He was arrested for drink driving. He's gone to rehab supposedly. And the article is all about how it's okay to still sympathize a little bit with him. I think drink driving is never, ever, ever okay. But I feel like he's in a shit place. So I still feel really sorry for him. I feel like alcoholism is just such a shit thing to deal with. And I think it's okay to wish him the best, even though I just think it's drink driving is never okay, obviously. But at the same time, I still feel sorry for him and I really, really hope that he manages to come over this. Um, but I, I am also glad to see that Deck is still going to carry on with the final two shows of Saturday Night Takeaway, partly because I really like Saturday Night Takeaway, but I feel like it'd be a shame not to. It could have been so much worse, which is why drink driving is just never okay. And that's basically the end of this video. I have no idea if you liked it, no idea if you didn't like it. Let me know down below and hopefully this can be an every Saturday morning thing so you guys can wake up on a Saturday and have one of these videos in your subscription box. Let me know what you'd like me to cover next week. You can even tweet me like throughout the week or come back in like five days time and let me know um, what I should talk about if a topic comes up during the week which you think is an interesting one. I will be filming these like Friday evenings, I believe, or like Friday afternoons. Um, and that's basically the end of it. I really hope you enjoyed it. I actually really enjoyed filming it. And I would quite like to kind of develop this idea a little bit more. This is definitely like a rough idea currently. And hopefully you guys will stick with me throughout the rough idea, hopefully making this into quite an interesting regular video. But thank you so much for watching this video if you did enjoy it. All the links are down below and I shall see you all very soon. Bye.